you were something else. Next floor, 10. Dude, how long is this place? Oh, Dogma found another item somewhere. <laughs> I love the name Dogma. It's so stupid. Literally, I'm not gonna explain why it's so stupid. It's just so stupid. Anyway. Alright, let's pick up some gold. Go! 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 I'm being very soon in this episode. That's a good thing. It means I'm in my amnesia mood. I felt very happy when playing amnesia. It's more my game, I feel. Alright, next. Uh oh. We lost Fanny, guys. Yeah, it might be smart just to leave the floor immediately. Not even bother with something. All right, we're leaving. Eleven. Are we almost done with this damn place? Holy shit! I don't remember the Grand Canyon being so fucking big. That was the Great Canyon. I don't care. All right, guys, let's take care of these hound dudes. Brick break, gimme. That's worth a lot of money. Dude, look at him run. See spot go. See him run. Get over here. Oh, you think you can run forever, huh? Aw, uh, you little motherfucker. I got you. Hello, Taurus. You are an awesome Pokemon. You were almost a Pokemon in Pokemon Crystal. <laughs> but you were. Yeah. Good old Robot Guy Dance did not get to have the, uh, not get to have the Tauros, no, he, he got the, uh, the Jinx, of all things. Though to be fair, I never raised the Jinx before, so that was all fun. What was that item inside that place that I forgot to grab, like, in the stairway floor? Oh, grab a rock, right, 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 I don't give a shit about that. I just care about these other items they have. Uh, I'm gonna use a max elixir here. Why? Because I'm gonna spam shockwave on all these bastards. That was actually a really stupid idea. Why the hell did I do that? Probably almost done with this floor anyway. This is go to the next level. Ooh, Kitchen's Tex is different. Sweet. And that was a rather complete shit level up. Come on, Kitchen. What happened to gaining like 5 HP every single time we stepped on it? You know what that means. You can't pick it up. There it is. Brick, brick. Toto to picked up Crap Rock, right? He's just gonna throw him that shit like a moron. Oh, I love it when that happens. Oh, look at this beauty of a matchup. Also, Doggy Mel found another item. Or Doggy Mel. I'm just gonna call him Doggy Mel, because that sounds funnier. Alright. So, what'd you find this time, man? An arm. Alright. It's all yours. Dude, how long does it take this guy to level up, though? How much more experience do you need? 189. Wow. I actually shouldn't have even checked. I clicked off screen. God damn it. I'd always do that. Seriously, it just won't end. It's never gonna stop. Doesn't know how to stop. Maybe I just don't remember how it stops. Alright, eat that apple. Stop being stupid, Fappy. Just keeps running off in his own damn direction. I'm not even sure what he's doing. Doors get wrecked, and Fappy gets his level up to 15. A bump with my trunk more great. And that was rather shit. But at least he got a little bit of every single stat, and that's more than I can say for Kitchen. Let's go grab that item real quick. Uh, got it. Too late. Missed it by that much. But no cigar. Alright. For you, you get the other shockwave treatment. I have to use my weaker shockwave now, but it doesn't make a difference because my shockwaves are overpowered. Are we done yet? Thank you. There you are. What is it? Have you reason to 
see me? Hmm. This. This is a clear way. I see. About the Mirage Pokemon. That is what you wish to know. Go ah! The Mirage Pokemon. I know. Little. There are Pokémon that live, breathe, and prosper with the very land. They rage with the eruption of volcanoes, roar as one with thunder, and race with the North Wind. Their names are Ente, Raiko, and Suiko. Duh. They are said to be shadows. Shadows of the Mirage. West, the lies of Hodja, now known as the Three Fields. There's one such field, the Fiery Field. One of the Pokemon, the Shadow of the Mirage, is there. Go. You must go to the Fiery Field. The answers you seek, perhaps they will be too there. And just like that, the Fiery Field is now accessible. Sweet. If we go to the fiery field, I believe we will actually find Entei, and that is possibly a chance to catch him. Legendary surprisingly have one of the highest catch rates of any Pokemon in the entire game. Like, literally, if you go and fight them, your chances of catching them are actually pretty damn good. Anyway. Hey, you rock and roll. So now the fiery field is accessible, accessible to us, so boy, that's a, that's a good one. Alright, what do we want to sell? Um, wait, special bands are worth 1500 I thought they were only worth 500 Oh my god. Dude, I just found, like, the money load there in that dungeon. Holy shit, look at that. 6,000 gold. And we got a bunch of red with a mug orb. That's actually pretty worthless. Let's just steal an item from another Pokemon. Still kind of worthless. Anyway, let's buy a max elixir. Huge apples, huge apples. Speaking of huge Jackman, uh, Robin Williams died today on 8 12, 2014. Actually, no, it was 8 11, 2014 because it's actually 1 o'clock in the morning. It's very, very, very sad. Robin Williams. I didn't even feel like I watched too many of his movies. Uh, Goodwill on it. All his other fun stuff. We're Robin Williams food or Shaq food. Shaq food. How about Robin Williams food? You too? No, it's not funny anymore. Robin Williams. Oh well. So, um, I'm sure. I'm sure the movie industry will live on in its spirit. Boy. But anyway. Enough of that depressing topic. Let's just continue on with what we have to do. We have accomplished some of our tasks, but now we have a new one open up with a fiery field. I do suppose the Stormy Sea is where we should go next. However, I think I'm actually going to buy a couple of friend areas first. As you can see, my money was taken down a notch. That's because I was actually buying a couple of friend areas. Mostly just basic ones, none for legendary Pokemon. However, you might notice there are some that might seem a little geared towards legendary Pokemon, like the Rainbow Peak right here. So let's buy just that. That sounds like a pretty good idea. I'm definitely going to show whenever I buy ones that are uh, legendary oriented. Anyway, the Scorched Plains, that would actually be really smart because we're going to be going to the fire field soon. In other words, getting stuff for the Scorched Plains actually makes a lot of sense. Sacred Field. Three legendary Pokemon are said to live here. Well, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, that's probably either the legendary birds or the uh, three dogs. So... In fact, where would the birds go? Maybe Crater? No, not the Crater. Um, Ancient Relic, maybe? No. Final Island? No, that's just the last Pokemon. Hmm. I wonder if that's Mew or Mewtwo. Maybe it's Deoxys. I'm not sure. 
Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna go over for the sacred field then. Because that sounds like a pretty smart idea. If I want to catch all three of the legendary dogs, that probably would be a smart idea. Anyways, for the rest of our money. We are pretty broke right now, unfortunately, but that is fine by me. It is time to take the rest of our items once again. Off screen. Alright guys, time to roll out. Oh wait, I'm actually forgetting something. I forgot to go check the ball. God damn it. And you know what else I forgot to do? I forgot to go check my mail. Probably can't even get anything. Yeah, look at this dungeon and weather. Yeah, all that fun stuff. So that shit, sad and lonely, I don't care. Alright. Zoom! Let's go take a look. Go pull to see if there's any more of those random ones. This guy's in trouble on 421, of course. Two of these guys want white gummy as racists. Alright, let's just go. Got a good old team back. All items are good. No money. Let's just roll out to the next area. So we got the Stormy Sea in the Northern Range and Fiery Field now. Well, we just did the part for the Fiery Field, so I'm going to take a little break on that one. So for the final part of this session, I think the Stormy Sea should probably be their next best guess. After all, we wanted to go there first, of all things. About time we finally did it. Now this place has some awesome music. I remember that. Like, just listen to it. Very cool. There's gonna be a lot of water on this floor as well. This is one of those dungeons where you can actually have Toto use die, and it will actually work. It'd almost be good to actually have Toto as your leader, and you can make him leader inside the in this case. So if you feel like he might be more useful as leader, make sure you do that. Anyway, Toto, you are allowed to use Dive once again. You, uh, you were... You had your chances taken away, but now you can have him back. A Trap Buster, if I could really use that. Give me that. Yeah, just in case I find some traps here. Oh, okay, I thought I just stepped on one there. Alright, Sky Gummy of all things. Inside a water place. I would figure water gummies would be here a lot, but hey, that's fine by me. You're going to notice a lot of water etched, like, designs in the ground. This really is an area for Toto. Or your other water type Pokemon. Sort of just roam around. But, we're going to be exploring our own. Wait a minute. Oh, right, this isn't, like, underwater, so I guess it does make sense to find windows. It's sort of just, like, above water. These guys aren't too bad to deal with. It gets a little harder later on. I don't recall the Stormy Sea being exactly that bad. And I don't think it'll be any worse now that I have more Pikachu on my side, basically helping me destroy everything. And also, we do have Kitchen as well, who's loaded on his own electric moves, including Thunderbolt and... Ooh, Ominite wants to join. Hell yeah. Sweet. I'll take an Ominite all day. Alright, what are we going to call him? Well, I think we know what we should all call him. His name shall be... Lord. No, no, no. He sh no, no, yeah. Lord. Lord? Is there a space? Oh, there's got to be a space. Is that space? Yeah, it is. Alright. Lord? You all know why it's called Lord Helix. Of course you know why it's called Lord Helix. After the good old Helix fossil from the Pokemans. Mmm. You know, Twitch plays Pokemon. He's got Mudshot, which is an awesome move. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's actually really good. Constrict, of course, that's rather shit. Yeah. Sweet. I'm kind of surprised, like, Mudshot isn't a more competitively viable move. Because, I mean, it lowers speed. Well, it only lowers at one stage. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be that competitively viable. Now I think about it. It has its merit, though. Definitely. I can see where it could be really useful to a heal seed. I actually haven't found one of those in a while. An actually useful seed? Holy shit. And that floor was completely worth it. There was, like, no items there. What was that shit? And 46 gold. I'm not going to go bother finding that. Hmm. 
Oh wait, no, that, that was actually the 46 gold right there. Oh, what's this side? Oh, I actually want to bother finding that. Max Elixir. Sweet. Alright. By the way, what level are you on? I didn't actually check that. Hmm. 25. I believe Omni Knight evolves into Omnistar at like 40, I think. So he's got quite a while to go. Or maybe it's like 35, I don't remember. Actually, I think it is 40. Oh, whoa. That was weird. That was like a really long loading time. Anyone else think that? That was like a suspiciously long loading time for just loading that shit up. Oh, oh no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why? Why'd you give that to me, game? You know I'm just gonna dick around with it later on. Dude, if I could get a full party of four and just have them all warping like mad, that would be hilarious. And I'm getting so many max elixirs, it's kind of pissing me off now, because I, I sort of brought them. I brought max elixirs, and now they're completely worthless. And I, I can't just hand them to my Pokemon, because they throw them immediately. That is like one of the worst AI craps that this game has. 154, with good defense on Shelter. Shit, everyone get Thunderbolt. And agility. I'm too fast for you. Lord Helix is going to fuck you. Except not because I jumped first. Again, this music's great, by the way. Alright, over here. Nothing. Up here. There's the staircase. Get me out of here. I recall this area being quite large, so we'll definitely have to probably use one of our apples. Or a couple. Why 200 tiles in the same spot? Another max elixir. A roll call orb. Let's use that. That was kind of funny. And a defense star. Interesting. Let's see Mr. Sleep Seed then. I'm going to take a nap, guys. Cover me. Why was there only one enemy on the floor? That poor lonely bastard. Look at him. Just one. Oh, there's one. He came out of nowhere, and he got instantly destroyed. Yo, let's make it so there's not a single enemy on the entire floor. <clears throat> Completely clear. Whole place is dead. It's a ghost town. A ghost town floor. We left it as empty as we found it. No, we, f we left it more empty than we found it. Good job, Omnite, by the way. Wait a minute. Omnite won't fight? I guess I can kind of see that. I don't know. It's like a weird move for Omnite to have. Anyway, we gotta sleep seat again. I just eat it for the hunger meter. Mm. That was fun. You could put on your, like, sleepless, uh, IQ. And just continue eating them and not bother. And you still get the same hunger from it. I think that's kind of counterproductive, though. And a blast seed. Alright, let's eat that. Yum! Anorith. Dude, what we're finding is fossil Pokemon here. Well, not really. I guess we haven't found, like, Lily yet. We're just finding the water fossil Pokemon. Or the Pokemon that can use water-type moves as fossil Pokemon. You get what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, Seal. I love Seal. Seal is one of my favorite water types. I was tempted to use him as a uh, Pokemon on my team. In Pokemon Green. But to be honest, the Pokemon I was going to use, believe it or not, was Horsey. Over, uh... Over... What was his name? Jimmy Dean? Yeah. I was going to use that over the Kingler that I got. However, I found out that uh, Horsey is only available in the Japanese Red version. Apparently. Whoa, I thought you just, like, teleported him out of the dungeon for a second. That was a horror beam. That was weird. But yeah, I had to bunk for Kingler due to that. Uh, the reason I wanted to use Horsey, though, was actually because uh, I had never trained up a Horsey before. I've never done it. I mean, I think I have, like, on my own time in, uh, just screwing around with Ian. Like, we play a lot of Pokemon Sapphire, and he play a lot of Pokemon Fire Red, and we just battle each other. Yeah, it was fun times. But now that we both have Pokemon Y, that'll be fun, because we're going to kick each other's asses. Although, it's mostly going to be me kicking ass, because I'm too damn good at Pokemon. I'm 
you can already tell from my skills of getting my stuff kicked in. Mudsport's effect fade. Wait, who used Mudsport? Oh, no, no, that, well, that was the Anorith. Duh. Gravel Rock, of all things. Wait, is that Gravel Rock? No, that is Gravel Rock. I thought that might have been a stone first. Oh, god damn it, Toto. You don't need the Gravel Rock. Stop, you're embarrassing yourself, Toto. Boy. This Anorith, man, he has a lot of HP. That's all I gotta say. You guys are going hard in the paint just to kill the stupid Anoriths. Alright, 12. Hmm, another seal. So cute. He got destroyed. Anyway, warm berry. Dude, look at my belly. I'm kind of tempted to just not bring apples anymore, but the second I do, we're gonna go into like a desolate desert area that has like no food you need. I don't know. Anyway, Shockwave. Really sucks that this guy is a water type. That would really help. I always thought it was water type. Anorith is actually kind of one of those uh, Pokemon that's hard to detect what his type is. You wouldn't think it, but there's actually a surprisingly large amount of bug rock types. Like, you got Shuckle, you got Anorith in his evolved form, Armaldo, you got. Uh. Pineco kind of counts, except he's rocks or bug steel. Switch your orb. All right, next floor. We're getting up there on the floors. Ooh, what do we got here? Reflect. That's not bad. I'll use that. Trap bust. There were no traps. And another defense scarf. All right. You know what? Let's give that to someone. Let's give that to Kit. You know what? Let's give that to Toto. And let's give... Grab the Defense Scarf and give that to someone else. Defense Scarfs can be very useful. In fact, what does that make your defense right now, guys? 60. Not bad. And you Kitchen? 51. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. That's like a whole 8 increase of statage. Alright. Tracked. Not bad. And... Heal seed. Alright. I definitely want to hold on to these. Bad doubt. Heal seeds are very useful. They pretty much obsolete any of the uh, items, with the exception of maybe like the Chesto Berry. They make all the berries completely worthless. Except for Orange Berry. I mean, it doesn't really help with Orange Berries. That would be very useful if it was like an item that healed you completely HP wise. Like maybe a full restore type item. That would be very useful. Although I suppose it's a little unnecessary in light of the Survivor Seed. Which is basically God Player. Nothing has shown up for Survivor Seed. Alright, we got something. Another Heal Seed. Holy shit. I don't remember finding. Oh, whoa. No, I'm not gonna do it. How many of these max elixirs do I. Oh my. You know what? Ingest one. Just do it. I have plenty at home, and I have plenty in my inventory. Come on. Alright. Uh, who wants to learn Reflect? Kitchen can learn it. I'm not gonna get rid of that. Actually, you know what? Does that affect everyone in the party? No, it makes the user status reflect. No, nope, that's not useful. Alright. Who wants Attract? Uh, Lord Helix, you can learn Attract. Why not? Set. Um... This withdraw has so many uses, holy shit. Like, why? <laughs> Get rid of that crap. There you go, now you can attract all the ladies, I suppose, Lord Helix. Wait, how come I can- oh, right, the use TM shit. Oh, right, no, 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 face the other direction. And let's throw it in the water. Get out of here. It actually landed underwater. That's actually really funny. I didn't say actually know you could do that. I thought it would have bounced off the wall enough where it would go actually on the shore, but nope. It landed in the water. And now the music gets a little sinister. Although we've heard this music before, so nothing too bad. 
Alright, kitchen, please stop using those moves so many times. Or else you're gonna like, oh, how did I just wait? Is that oh that was a spiel? I thought that was a clam roll for a second. That was weird looking. Alright, next floor. What is this? 16? 17. Alright. We're making our way through this place. Making our way down there. Shockwave. Of course, there's still anoriths. That's like the one Pokemon I wanted to disappear in the next floor. We've got Roar. Um, I mean, it's worth money. Fuck it. What can I do? Skills. Max Elixir's an eel. I'm not gonna throw away the Warp Scarf. It's too much fun. Sorry, guys. You know, why don't I throw away Roar? Roar is actually not worth anything. It's worth like 500. Forget it. What do we got here? A warp seed. You know what? I'll use that. See you guys. I love the full life. Wait a minute. That thing didn't even warp me anywhere. I'm in like backwards. Good one. Hey, kitchen. How's it going? All right. Toto and uh, him are moving together, so that's good. Oh, they're not moving together anymore. Well, he's actually sort of following me. Yeah, look at that. All right, now only Toto's being the wanderer. All right, live that, Toto. Grab that money while you're at it. Oh, he dives. Here comes the dive. The dive punch. Ooh, oh my god. Holy shit. Who knew dive could be so powerful? He's working over there. Please stop double surfing. Okay, Toto, you can just wander around a little bit more. Seriously, you have to stop me for that, Toto. Okay, grab the money and leave. Thanks for that. <laughs> okay, next one. Hmm. One to the left and one to the right. For a kitchen, go for the Sonic Boom. Or don't go for the Sonic Boom, I don't care. He did. Use them again and they will unlink. Oh no, I don't really care if they unlink, because that would actually kind of help a lot at this point, because he keeps you just spamming it. He just likes spamming Sonic Boom. That's what he likes to do, man. And because of that, that means he likes spamming Shockwave. Completely unrelated, but you just love spamming Sonic Boom. I mean, I would love it too if I had. Them. Wait, why were our stats all bad? I didn't even notice. All right, give me that item where I can pick up over there, Spiel. Oh, he didn't pick up an item. Who did? Someone picked up an item, not you. You. What did he drop? Oh no, the item's still there. I just, uh, couldn't see it because of all the blue. And I can't even reach it from this angle. God damn it. Step over it. Let's go see what we got. An orb. And it's worthless. Alright. Let's leave. No, go. Thank you. I don't need to know what the stairs do. This is like temple, what, floor 3000 of all the floors I've been on in this game. There's a hurl orb. Let's use that on him. Does nothing. Another orb. Oh, hey, there's on the star. Hey, dude, how come you're not on the star? A cheater. That was a switch of orb. I'm gonna eat that off the ground. And let's switch a orb to the wall, I suppose. Hmm. Right, where's the exit? Let's go find it. Let's go find an exit. Not seeing it. Still not. Oh, there it is. Okay. 20. How long is this place? Damn. Max Elixirs. And a Oh, I really want that. I know I haven't run into any of that shit yet, but I'm probably just going to be bringing this as often as I bring the escape orbs. Because let me tell you, cleanse orbs are super de duper useful, man. They're just so helpful to you. Alright, you know what? I don't mind using one of my heal seeds for that. If it means having none of the cleanse orb, I'm perfectly okay. Wait, go ahead, just pick up the max elixir. Oh, you know what? I don't mind having two. Those gone. Max elixirs are more useful anyway. And a gummy. Blue gummy. That's all you, Toto. 
status checker. Alright, that's not bad. Actually, wait, no, that is pretty. Wait. Hmm. Is that good? I don't remember. Let's go take a look. I think that just means he targets Pokemon that have status effects. Oh, okay, you know what? Wait. Hey, they didn't even have moves that caused status problems. It's completely worthless. But, I mean, that would have been great if it was on uh, someone like Toto. Or not Toto, on someone like Kitchen. But no, on Toto, that's completely worthless. Because all he does is focus, punch, dive, ice beam, and surf. And none of those cause status effects. I mean, if he had Waterfall and caused Flinch, but then again, you'd want him to multiple Flinch. So, that doesn't make sense. Alright, 21. Oh, shit, look at that. Look at that stuff. And a Grimer for some reason. Hmm. Alright, well, we need to go get those items. So, Toto, you're going to become temporary leader. Let's go grab him. Pink Gummy, we're gonna eat. You know, I'll let Toto eat this one. We got a Roll Call Orb. No, I don't want to use that there. And a Radar Orb. Poor Pikachu. Can't even move. Trawl Orb, let's use that. Perfect. Huh. Alright. And Ross, you're going to become our leader. Ooh, a stamina band. That's worth a lot of money. Oh man, I'm really running out of inventory space. Alright, other heal seed. What can I say? And as for this radar orb, but use it for shits and giggles. Lol. Okay. Let's get out of here. I really should be saving those trawl orbs. They're very, very useful. Especially if it's like on a shopkeeper, you can just take all his items, move them completely to you. As soon as you're like right in front of the staircase, it's amazing. Thank you for encoring. Oh no! Here comes super effective ice. The fuck was that? Whoa! the most amazing attack I think I've ever seen in my life. Like, I understand it continues going until it doesn't hit, but I thought it was all, like, multiple turns of using the move, like it is in-game. Like, there's a very particular reason it doesn't have multiple I mean, I mean, imagine if Fury Swipes was like that. Like, every time you hit with Fury Swipes, if you hit five times in a row, each time the power increases. Like, that's not even fair. There's a reason, like, that that's blockable like that. Although, I can see how that would be a very competitively viable move. Be a very luck-based move. Thank you, destructive ice ball of death. Like, holy shit, that was not even fair. Every time, just doing more and more and more and more and more damage. Holy crap. Awesome move is awesome. Alright. You guys are in Thunderbolt territory. I'm afraid it's happened. And even if I miss, once again, agility completely destroys any and all... Any all strategy they could have to counterattack me. Clear gummy. See that? Or that's actually a great gummy. Dumb. Alright. Over here. Money, and explore. 23. This really is just a huge dungeon. A pass scarf. That's worth a good bit of money. You know what? All Ormberry. Why not? I should have been doing that earlier, to be honest. Ormberries are just not that useful. Alright. Mr. Silver Gummy. Grab you. And kill you. Why'd the Silver Gummy make me somewhat satisfied? Was the Silver Gummy for again? Oh, it's probably for flying types. Yeah. So that would explain why it's somewhat useful to me. Alright, 24. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're almost done. We had to use one of our Reviver Seeds. Surprisingly, not on the guy we recruited. We had to use it on Toto, of all people, because of a stupid Ice Ball spam. Just all at once, Ice Ball death. 
not even fair. Ah, 146. Where's the exit? Hmm. These grimes are kinda bothering me a little bit. There's so many of them. I mean, there's not a ton of them, but it's a little weird that there's just a lot of grimers. I think there actually is a Pokemon game where you can find Grimers on the water, which is just hilarious. In fact, I think it's like black and white, to be honest. That's messed up. But you know it makes sense, right? Pollution in the water and all that shit. Uh-oh, Omnite's getting separated. Get over here, buddy. We're not gonna lose you, old Helix. Yeah, I call everyone else by their nickname, like Kitchen and Toto, but I don't call like the people I find. I call those Vampies or... Ammonite. No, he's, he's Lord Helix. If only in spirit, at least he's Lord Helix. Alright, keep roaming. Eventually we'll find the exit. There it is. You can continue sleeping for one day, Grimer. 25. Holy shit, this place is so large. <coughs> why is that? I don't know the answer to that. Wait, why did he do that? I guess the agility helps. Again, agility is just really broken. That's all I gotta say. Like, holy shit. Look at that. I just destroyed him. Didn't really get a chance to attack. Ugh. Anyway, inside the stormy sea, you're not gonna find too many places where you have to use keys, luckily enough. So that's nice to know. At least I don't think you do. I mean, I could be wrong, but whatever. 26. Come on, there has to be an end in somewhere in this place. Somewhere. Thunderbolt. Hmm. Got him. You don't use agility enough. It's just such a broken TM. It's really for more for just bosses in general. Nice job. Destroy the crap out of the Grimer. Use this one more time, and then I can max elixir. I do have like a hundred of these things. Rusted level 38. All right. Not bad. Okay, max elixir. <coughs> Where the hell are you going? There you are. All right. Grab that item all the way over there, which I should have grabbed first. And it's a scarf. Another pass scarf. Sweet. I'm gonna have so much money by the end of this. I'm just gonna be a rich bastard. Rich bastard. Finally, Lord Helix gains a level 26. Good, I leveled up. That was the dumbest. Literally everything about that level was dumb. The quote, the level up itself, the fact that it took so damn long. Anyway, floor 27. Like, holy shit. I wonder what the longest floor, like, the longest dungeon in the game is. If you know Tyler, don't spoil it for me. I, I gotta see it. Like, someday I'll find the longest floor. Oh, another shockwave. Hey, Kitchen, you want another shockwave? Why not? Here you go, buddy. No, not that. Thunderwave. That'll be much more useful anyway. <coughs> A detect band? What does that do? Hmm. Boost the Pokemon's evasion. That sounds like it'll be incredibly expensive, so I'm gonna get it. Who wants a pass scarf? We have a roll call orb for some reason. You know what? Here, Lord Helix, take the roll call orb, and I'll use the roll call orb. Well, all you ate is my place, and now we can grab the detect band. Sweet. Scanner orb for items, alright. Sorry I had to speed that up, but seriously, agility just takes way too damn long. Hmm. Alright, well I guess we can leave now. Yeah, if you want to take that use TM, guys, feel free, it's all yours. Grammar. Yeah, if you want to minimize, goodbye. I'm not going to deal with your missing shenanigans, even though I have shockwaves, so that makes no sense. Okay. Take more money. Oh my god, a lot of money, actually. 
29. We're almost at 30. This is literally ridiculous. Armaldo. We found Armaldo. This has gotten a little scary. Oh, that was actually going on in the kitchen, so that makes sense that I did that much. But still, that was, that was a little scary. But yeah, oh, that's for me. Where the fuck is that? Armaldo grabbed it. I have to find another one of those guys? No problem. Give it. No, get the fuck out of here, bro. I wonder if we can find Mux. That'd be kind of cool. Armaldo, I'm looking for you. And I have a shockwave with your name on it. I think I just saw you. Oh, I just saw you. Oh, you're so dead. Mmm, gimme. That yellow gummy is all mine. Total grew to level 36. Alright. Not a bad level up. Gain most of the stuff you needed to. Yo. Mine. You didn't actually die with one hit. There you go. Okay, now time to eat it. I didn't even get anything. Damn. Do I just not gain any more IQ? Maybe. I'm pretty sure there were more things you could gain. Starmie, oh no. Queen of Gen 1. Get out of here. Starmie was a real bitch in Gen 1. Blink. Oh, Blink. That's actually a really annoying thing. Pearl Orb. Yeah. Uh, it's terrible when the enemy has it for you, and when you have it, it's also terrible. It just makes more monsters spawn. Like, all the damn time. It's just really obnoxious. And this is 31. Floor 30 fucking 1. Ow, man. I have so much belly size, though. It's literally not even fair. And even so, even if my belly starts to run out, I can just switch the party leader. And once I do that, then the belly size resets because it becomes the other Pokemon's belly size. Honestly, this is not too difficult at all. This whole dungeon has sort of been kind of simple. It's just stupidly long. And it won't end. It does not know how to end. Stop blinking. Every time it gets hit, it makes another enemy spawn on the floor. In other words, you can get combo attacked. Like, watch this. Look at the floor. Attack. Blink. And see, look, that enemy appeared. Just underneath my HP, another enemy appeared. Look, I'm going to do it again. I don't think it'll blink because it'll die. Yeah. But you get the idea. You get why this is obnoxious. Because you just keep spawning enemies. If it's on your side, it's annoying. If it's on the enemy's side, it's also annoying for you. It's just never good. I mean, if you wanted to train, fine, but it's just for Starmie, so it's sort of just like, who cares? <clears throat> and that's also for Staryu and any other Pokemon that has the move, or the ability, Illuminate. Seedra picked up some money. Seedra's about to die. Please stop some Oh, he became a Whiffer. He got the Whiffer status. That's literally like the dumbest name ever, but whatever. Thunderbolt. Double speed. I just realized we're fighting tentacles. That just dawned on me. They're not even that threatening. But if they use their water gun, it hurts like a bitch. Another pass scarf. Alright. More berry. Wait, why am I not eating the plain seed? Whatever. Beating in a little bit, I suppose. Money. A lot of money. I'm actually rich right now. Like, literally, once I saw these past scarves, I'm gonna... Ooh, here it comes. Here it comes, gentlemen. The focus punch! Oh, he didn't even die. That's sad. It was not very effective, so I guess that explains it. And Stormy just seems to have a lot of HP for some reason. Next floor, 33. Come on, game. That was another one that was like... Really long loaded the screens. All right, we got two items. Right over here, Cleanse Orb. Once again, want to hold on to these really badly. Really, really badly. Cleanse Seed. And someone else is probably going to pick that item up. Don't you do it? Oh, she was thinking about it. Stummy bitch. Get over here, stummy. Eat my Thunderbolt Agility combo. I could go for some combo pretzels right now. A lot of Mike hikes. And also some Cheetos. But you ever get that feeling like when you eat way too many Cheetos, it's just sort of like, eh, kind of bored. Man, I'm 
man, I swear, I'm just sort of getting back in that Lucky Star talk. Literally, that is all the Lucky Star show, is just them talking. I've come to that conclusion that that is literally the whole show. And it is actually pretty hilarious. It's like watching Let's Play. It's an anime Let's Play, is the best way I can describe it. If you like Let's Plays, and you like talking about completely random bullshit, then the show's completely perfect for you. And it's gonna blink again. Yeah, keep blinking. How many enemies can we get on this floor before the game crashes? <laughs> Probably a lot. Oh, whoa. There it was. That was the tentacle rapage right there, the bubble beam. And also probably acid. Okay, here, tentacle. 278, sweet. Skip that ship again, and let's go. 30 fucking four, guys. Floor 34. This is a little ridiculous at this point. Just stop blinking. Lens orb again. I still want to keep picking these up because they're very useful. Um, Max Elixir. That would help. Money, and what do we need to pick up? I'm loving the experience I'm getting off this place though. Like, I'm getting a lot of experience from all these monsters. I call them monsters. Seriously, who calls Pokemon monsters? You call them Pokemon. All you call them, ever. You don't call them monsters. Oh, it's a whale ring, or Celio, sorry. Is it? It's getting late. I'm starting to call Pokemon by their not correct names. Except I always do that. Hello, Stommy. Goodbye, Stommy. Hello, Stommy, you're still alive. Please stop blinking. You, see, you, you can see where that gets really obnoxious, where they just keep blinking, and they keep making monsters appear when you're just trying to get to the goddamn items, or the door exit. But it's still not too bad. Only problem is when the blink spawns more starmies. That's when it really gets obnoxious. Thunderbolt agility combo. Get wrecked. I have not been using the whole shortcut for using the special hat. Yeah, I just noticed that. Huh. Good one. I completely forgot all about that. Red gummy. Let's go grab our future. Shockwave version 2.0. Seems like the level 2 is doing more damage consistently. That's just how it seems. Yeah, look at that. It's like one shot in them, and the level 4 isn't. That's weird. I don't know. Next floor. 35. Come on. There's gotta be something. Oh my lord. What are we going for? 40? Like, holy shit. Holy shit, dude. This temple's never gonna end. So long, I'm starting to call it temples, because that's literally what it's like at this point. Kitchen has so much HP, by the way. <laughs> bullet seed. Oh, bullet seed. Holy shit, I just saw that, didn't I? Bullet seed. Bullet seed is quite possibly one of the most broken TMs in the entire game. Yo, you're a leader for a second, Toto. You're grabbing that. Unfortunately, I can't use it right now. Um, you know what? I don't need this many funds or Okay. But in all seriousness, yeah, uh, as powerful. Here it comes. Here it comes the focus. The fuck was that? What was that? You just shockwaved the Starmie. No, no, no. You tried to shockwave the Starmie, and you hit Toto. Why? There was literally... You have a seven-star IQ, man. Alright, you know what? You've become way too powerful. That's just the end-all be-all. You know, sometimes I want to hit him too, but I don't try to kill him, because that weighs Reviver Seeds, man. That's the Reviver Seeds. You hit him with the Blast Seed, discipline him. Don't kill him. Boy, Ross has a mind of his own. Crazy bastard. 
Alright, next seed. Or, seed. Dummy. Am I getting seeded into a tournament or something? Next seed. Let's fight. New stunt, new stunt! I'm still wrapped. There we go. Finally moved. Alright, kill you. And get over here. And Thunderbolt. I just keep running out of my shockwaves way too quick. Because I just keep spamming it. It's just such a fun move to spam, though. And it works so well. Ooh, a ghost gummy. Purple ones. Yum. Wait, who the hell's that? Bomb knife. What the fuck are you doing? Are you over there? No, you're running towards enemies. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. No. Lord Helix. No. Okay, you made it back. Right. Sorry, Lord Helix. You're awesome and all, but... I don't know if you can handle your father, or Armaldo, or anything else we run into in the Stormy Sea. This... this just isn't ending. Is it never-ending? Is this like, see how far you can go? We're still finding new Pokemon, we're finding Carvana! Like, what the fuck, dude? A troll orb, I'll use that, give me all the items. There's that gravel rock again, I still don't want it. I just, once again, should have saved the trawler. Once again, should have saved the trawler. I don't know why I just keep thinking about that. Uh, I can make a stupid floor so simple if I just grab the trawler and hold on to it. Although, of course, that would take space in my inventory, so that'd be kind of annoying. Alright, Thunderbolt. <coughs> Couldn't even move. That's why I love agility. Uh, of course, it's a little stupid when you miss. Uh, Thunderbolt again. There we go. Alright, you guys, you can start moving now. I know we're at quadruple speed, but seriously. Alright. Where the hell's the exit? <coughs> Here we go. Here it is, 38. Much of the same. I just wanted to sound finalized. Oh, boy. What are you shooting at now? Oh, wait, he's diving. Haha, <laughs> you can't hit a dive, Pokemon. Get back. 177, like, holy crap. Lord Helix grew to level 27, sweet. Those are some super shitty gains, I swear, Lord Helix. You're supposed to be amazing. You're not doing too well, to be honest. Another yellow gummy? Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm still not gaining anything. Like, holy crap. How much IQ gummy do I have to shove in my mouth hole? <clears throat> I figured it would have told me if I gained full IQ. Yeah, Tyler, you have to tell me, like, if I've gained full IQ or not. Or maybe I'll just look it up on my own. Like, I don't always have to rely on you, man. I really should be looking up half this shit on my own. Hmm. Alright, so you'll get to get hit with the basic A attack combo breaker. That would be mine, Mr. Celio, so you're gonna have to share it. After you die. And a petrify orb, let's use it. A petrify orb is also another orb I've thought about bringing into dungeons, however. I don't find it too useful unless you're in a monster house. And those situations don't occur too terribly often to make it worth its while. And we're finally down to five max elixirs. Jesus. Found so many in this dungeon. The kitchen's type does not get poisoned. Sweet. He has a poison point. I just realized that. That's actually really obnoxious. What do we got over here? Oh no, I almost missed this gravel rock. Thank god. Yo, I'm probably just gonna throw out this all at the next Pokemon I see. Alright, here you go. That went nowhere. Alright, Shockwave. Damn it. No, we're gonna avoid that. There we go. Got it. 40. Okay. 40. Finally! My power is bursting. My infinite.
infinite power. Oh shit! My duels against Crowder have thus both exhausted. Took a too long, deep sleep. All the time I waited. And now, I am on the verge of regaining my power. I am Kai the Lord of the Sea. Witness the destructive force of my waves. Marvel at my awesome power. Kyogre motherfuckers. This is going to be some intense shit right here. First off, we're starting off with the shockwave. Moves close. It's time for the Thunderbolt Agility Fuckness. Oh, what's that? You can't move? Well, let me do it again. Oh, what's that? You can't move? Let me do it again. Anticlimactic again. God damn it, Kyogre, you're so fucking awesome. Why'd you lose so miserably? Uh, yep, once again, you can catch Kyogre and he can become a member of your party. However, we killed him. Uh, you can go back and refight him. And I believe you need to refight him in order to be able to catch him. Uh, of course, we did have as many team members as we could possibly hold, so I don't think we could have caught him. I don't even think we have his friend area, to be honest, so that would probably help. I'm not sure, though. Maybe we'll go look it up, see what his friend area is, if it tells us. Anywho, Pelipper, what do you got for us today? News extra. Buried relic discovered. Mystery ruin found underground. The site has been hidden by the crater of a meteor strike in ancient times. Buried relic is thought to date back beyond the border history. Rumors of treasures, perhaps even Pokemon live in ancient times. Buried relic is in the main topic in Pokemon Square. Seriously. Savings. Alright, it had to tell me that. Well, I guess that must mean some story shit, I suppose. Alright, well, I suppose we better go activate that story shit so I can work on my own again. With, like, the whole training of my Pokemans. Let's go see what the whole main talk of Pokemon Square means. Pokemon from ancient times live in the very Relic. Shiftry knows where it is. Let's go talk to Shiftry then. What's that? Where's the buried relic? The buried relic is deep in the jungles in the southeast. Are you dreaming about the treasures too? Haha, <laughs> look. Me too. Best of luck, compadre. Leaving aside the disturbing fact that Shiftry made them compadres. Ross's this team game to access to the buried relic? Oh, you witty game, you. Alright. Well, I do believe it's time to see how much we can sell this shit for. Oh my god. Everyone's talking about the stupid buried relic. Yeah, I'm not gonna sell all my shit, but I'm gonna sell a majority of it. Oh my god, literally everyone's talking about it. Shut up. Alright, let's see. What? Alright, yeah, the warp scar has to go on. Reflect, I'm going to sell. Alright, what else do I want to get rid of? My cleanse orbs, I don't want to sell those. And everything else can be sold. Alright, let's go see how much I can sell this for. Oh my god. Dude, what is worth so much money? I gotta ask. Yeah, I knew that Detect Bam was gonna be worth a lot. Calm Mind is also worth a lot. Bullet Seed is worth quite a bit. Oh wait, do I want to sell Bullet Seed? Like I said, it's really broken. It's two to five times per use. I don't have too many Grass types. If you have a Grass type on your team, it's literally the most broken shit in the world. I'll store that just for the fun and get a of it. Anyway, everything else can be sold for quite a lot of money. What do you got today? Oh, well, what a surprise. You got bullets here. Uh, oh, god damn. Yeah, no, what? Why? You can only bring a max amount of three Pokemon to a dungeon, I believe. You can't bring four. So I might as well store all this shit. 
And now we have three warp scarves. Oh my god, this is insane. I think we have four because the other one's on Lenny. Literally the dumbest shit in the world. I'll take all your money. And I need some uh, friend areas. What do we got here? Anything new? No, it does not look like it. Alright, let's go find out though. Oh wait, Echo Cave. I don't remember that being one. Oh no, I do, I do. Hmm. Frigid Cavern. I can check that, can I? Let's go check on Kyogre and see where he is. Seafloor Cave. I can't get that friend area for you. I'm really sorry. What? I would have ever quiz it. Stratos Lookout. Oh, thanks. And finally, Metagross. Yeah, I already knew that. Um, not Metagross. Um, Kyogre. Quiz it. Oh, Groudon's not even included. Great. Why not? We found him. Whatever. Who else do we need to know how to get it? Yeah, if it's white, that means you can't get their air. No, if it's white, that means you can't get them. If it's blue, that means you have them and you already have them as a Pokemon. If it's green, that means you can at least catch him and all that shit. And if it's red, that means you're... If it's white, that means you can't get him. Unless you get the front area. Whatever. Anyway, Turtle Shell Pond. Let's get that, why not? Waterfall Lake. We can't even get anyone from there. Alright. Poison Swamp. Do I even really want that? This is Poison Pokemon. No. Crater would actually be really useful. Yeah, look at that. We can almost catch every single one. Let's go for it. Crater. Alright. And that should be all for today. Alright. So, in conclusion, we have done quite a lot today in today's session. So we come back next time for more Pokemon Red Mystery Dungeon, we're going to continue exploring with good old Team Spirit and see what we got to do next. Of course, we have opened up to us the Buried Relic now as a place to go off to. But I think I want to go check out the Northern Range first, maybe in the Fiery Fields. We'll all figure out what we're going to do with that next time. So, good rescues, everybody. Have a good one.